Hello all, welcome to Kartik Tech Solution channel. Today in this video session, I will be going to explain how to write a message or you can say how to write a uh, script by which we can define system variable. By which we can define system variable. So I already written the script because if I write a script in front of you, it's going to take some more time. So I don't want to you know waste your valuable time which script has been written by me that i'm going to explain you each and everything so that it will be better understanding for you and you can write from your end and then you can execute it so that if you write and execute from your end it will be understanding for you where you have done proper or not if somewhere some mistake is there you can according to error message you can troubleshoot if still you are facing any challenge you can write in comment box i will be available always to fix your issue so let's go ahead to know that how a system defined variable can return and how a result is occurring and how the script is behaving this is what all about is nothing else so let's enter in that script which is written by me just few minutes back this is the script I written. So, <coughs> sorry, what I written here? I just given C bank and win pass interpreter, and then I clear the screen. Then I given a system information I mentioned in echo. Okay, then I mentioned these three by echo command. So what I given echo hyphen e hyphen e is nothing but it's going to explore the thing. What is going to explore? I'm going to get host name information on which system. I am able to what is that host name so how I need to write first I need to give double protection then I given host name then I given forward slash t then I given one tab I given again here uh, colon then I given a space and then given dollar host name so what is going to give dollar host name and then I am going to and the double protection right so what is the use of host name command what is the use of host name command host name command is nothing but it's going to show on which host name you are available right and which already been set and which already been set when you're executing in a uh, uh, terminal simply host name it's showing host name right when uh, in a terminal when you are uh, executing uh, like anything you name happen a you name happen or any your day to day activities any command is giving the response right so it means those already been set and whichever already been set that's called system defined nothing else so these all if i'll execute if i'll give your user so it will give me on which user i'm available if i you will give pwd then it will uh, show you on which path you are available right so this is what all about it nothing else so I given dollar PWD, it's going to carry, it's going to call the PWD value. It means where you are available. And it's going to give after two tab. After two tab, it will write PWD, then this column. After two tab, it will give this column, and then it here it will give on which path you are available. And this it's going to explore by hyphen E, nothing else. And this full message is going to print by echo command echo is nothing but it's going to print a particular thing nothing else there are also one more advanced thing called print f that also i'll be sharing with you after few minutes once you are familiar with echo else it will be confusion so this is all about the system variable how you'll write a system variable message it's a small thing uh, also i'm going to write you know advanced thing based on system variable user variable advanced thing already is here one two things so uh, when require more than that also i will give you no need to worry about it however uh, script i am uploading please go through it and uh, try to understand the thing how things work out if still you are still you are any confusion or uh, any doubt uh, facing any challenge any error please write in comment box right so this is what all about the script i written now let's come out and execute it so we'll come to know whether it's working or not see it's working it's giving me host name host name is ibm you will execute here host name it's giving me ibm right user is giving me root where i'm available you will type pwd also 
or if you type who am I, who am I, it's going to have root only. If you type ID also, it's going to give root ID, right? Zero. So now, if you give PWD, it's going to show you my script. So you are evaluating my script path, right? So this is all about the system variable, how you can write and how you can execute, right? So end of this session, I'd like to request to everyone, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. So for that, I can bring much more concept in front of you by which you can upgrade your skill set. Thanks to click this video.